Gonna build a mountain from a little hill. Hey guys, and thank you so much for tuning into my channel and welcome back to another video of Let's Play Franchise Mode in the beta of Planet Zoo. This is all pre-recorded if you are wondering, so I don't have access anymore. This is all pre-recorded during the time we had the beta. And we're focusing mostly on the management of our zoo. As you can see, we have a lot of habitats right now. The last thing we did were the Bengal tigers right over here. And we're really hoping to get some babies. Their timber wolf died the last episode, which is really sad. And we also had a tiger dying, by the way, right away when we got it. So yeah, that was really sad too. Uh, we have a Formosan black bear in lockdown right now, which is not really good. Unbox animals. We do have some babies here, don't we? Or did they already grow up? I hope not. Oh no, there they are. They are absolutely the most adorable bears in the game. So underrated. They are super cute. Those little ears. They are so fluffy. I really love these guys. They are absolutely adorable. So yeah, we are hoping to get more babies in. Water treatment is failing. Vet research is complete. That is very interesting. Did we got something for the mango tiger? We did. Okay, so we keep doing our research and hope to get some more chances for offspring because that will be really amazing. I'm just waiting. Oh, we could just rehome her, can't we? Where is our timber wolf? We might want to rehome her and just get in two new timber wolves and hope for a bit more luck. Oh, we can even release you to the wild. We can still trade with you? Well, let's do that then. We did sell some of the animals. I think it was a pronghorn and a zebra or something like that, if I remember correctly. And the ostriches are still in here. So let's get ourselves some new timber wolves. We, we do have some conservation credits, thank god, from our speed build series. So let's get you, your female from the KK Zoo. And we have a male here, and they, they are pretty good rated. I am really excited. I should have checked their chance for offspring right away, which I didn't. That's a bit unfortunate, but let's hope for the best. It is pretty hard for some reason. The warthogs who are here, they are really easy to reproduce. That is what the Zoopedia says. So it says very easy reproduction in captivity, but we have no babies. I don't get it. I don't get it. But yeah, for some animals, it just takes longer, I guess. And we just try and keep hoping and it might be a bug. I have no idea. They have like 46% chance or something like that. So. It's not that high, it's not like they're putting their effort in like every minute or so. So yeah, we just uh, we just have to be lucky, I guess, and hope for the best. Compare mates, 44%. Still not high. I'm very interested to see how you can rate this better, how you can make sure that their chances are better. I like the way it is, if, if it works properly, if this is the way it should work, maybe it is a little bit bugged, I'm not sure. But if this is the way it works and it is hard for you to get babies, I totally get it and I like the challenge. I like more of the challenge to have it a little bit more difficult to get some babies in, like the grizzly bears, for example. I had the same with like one of my earlier parks. What is that? There's food on the floor. You guys seem to be a little bit stuck. You seem to be stuck. You want to play with your toy, huh? Reset. Haha, <laughs> sorry. Oh no. <laughs> you got it before I could. So yeah, I had it in one of my first parks and I had grizzly bears and it took ages before I could really get some babies in. And at some point it started working and then they kept having babies. So I don't know what it is and I'm really curious to find out. I find it really nice and challenging and there is just a zero percent oh you're infertile now okay so that's a female run right and how are you how old are you you're 14 okay so we might want to see if we can get a new female grizzly bear in and let's try it a different way i'm just gonna see if that is going to work out i have to be lucky of course that people are not getting the animal before I do, but if I would go for a female, compare mates, so we have Amber, Amber Nard, 
uh, Berhan, Bernard. <laughs> 39% infertile. How did you got infertile? Hmm, that is really awkward. I wonder what that is. What about you? If I just click you, you're probably frontier zoo. Xaria. This is Xaria and Bernard. And you're not infertile and it's only 22%. Very interesting. I don't know if the bonus... I don't think the bonus is added to that. That would be really weird because else it would be like a minus or anything like that. I did give Frontier some feedback about this that it's really hard to compare the mates and by the time you're like oh yeah it's good or not then the animal is already gone. So that's really hard. Don't want to spend too much money on it. I think we just have to wait and leave our male grizzly bear for a bit and hopefully we are still in time ah, to get a female in. There are females, they're pretty old. This one, well let's get this one then. I am curious, babies, how old are the babies of the Formosan black bear? I'm curious because we do have to pay attention to put them up for adoption. There you go, I knew it, I knew it. So you're both males, so we have to. I'm sorry guys, we have to. It's time for us to add a new animal to our zoo. Pausing the game. What shall we add in this episode? Let's have a look. I like to have lions in our zoo. The dog empire, three years old. We can just create a habitat for them and then we hopefully get, are able to get a female in. Let's have a look because we do want to expand to this section, right? So we can maybe make a path going around this area. I already built some windows and then we can have maybe a lion habitat in that corner. How would that look? I think that could work out. Again, I did do a very simple habitat. I even copy pasted the cave from this side and changed it just a slightly tiny little bit. I do want to have just one more tree over here just because I love the trees. He's not going to like it that much, but I hope two of these will not make him super angry. Let's hope so. So now it's a little bit better, I guess. Um, what I do want to check before we move into, we need to check. Yeah, I was afraid for that. And the same is for the Bengal tiger habitat right over here. It's not covered with a water pump, but we can easily do this by adding a water treatment right over here. I am very curious how our electricity is doing. The electricity is also bad on that side so we might just want to add a transformer right over here too. Uh, you don't really have that right that good stats but I'm gonna go for it anyways. I, I just... Uh, they're all so expensive. <gasps> hi, are you gonna say hi to each other? Look at you! 
You're so pretty. Yeah, all the animals are pretty. I'm sorry. I keep repeating myself. <gasps> You're gonna use it? <gasps> Holy cow. That is beautiful. Those animations are incredible. <gasps> I wish I've made a screenshot now. Oh, please make do it again for my thumbnail. This is incredible. <gasps> You're so absolutely beautiful. I, I'm so confused because I did like a live stream and I had these lions in my habitat, but I just did not even notice how immensely beautiful you are. You're so gorgeous. Nutrition last mew, hydration animal is thirsty. Well, if I'm right, you are able to drink here and let's check if we can see your traversable area. That should be good. You should be able to drink water and it should be clean. There is food in here. How are you doing, lady? I'm curious how big the chances are for our offspring. It's gonna be pretty bad. I have the feeling. Zero percent? Low welfare. Okay, so the low, because of the low welfare, which can be fixed pretty easily i think is there anything we can do with the food already i i'm not sure if we can grade one no we do have to do some research and everything is good right over here so far you just need some food and i think you are good to go let's call a keeper to this habitat you're eating right now i'm super curious how big our chances will be for them to get some babies in. I really would love that. Did we miss out on any notification while we wait? African lion arrived, arrived, given birth. We have so many pronghorn babies, it's crazy. Mm, we have the timber wolves. Nope, we just have to wait and see. And another sable antelope is pregnant. That is amazing. Severely dehydrated. It's not, it does not want to drink from the water there. I was not expecting that, but it's okay. We can just add a water pipe, of course, for them to have a nice drink. So let's add you right over here. And I do want to stay safe. So I'm going to move you to quarantine. If everything goes right, you will get back nice and healthy again. So let's follow you. You're so pretty, I don't want to lose you. I really don't want to lose you. Are you going to drink now? That would be great though. Because then we don't need to call a vet, but we already did. I don't know how to cancel it. Can we cancel that? No, we can't. Hmm. I'm not sure, but I think it's gonna be fine then. All welfare is good now. So compare mates, zero percent. Zero. Okay, we need to do research. Ready to leave? We're going to move you back to your habitat right over here. So how are you doing now, lovely? You pretty fluffy tail. You're so pretty. <laughs> Ideal population, compare mates. How is that doing? 90%, still not that well, but yeah, well, we're trying. Okay, enrichment, food enrichment. Oh, wait, we can give you a frozen blood pumpkin. Now let's put it here because the people really would like to see you eating it. I know you don't want that, but it is what it is. So this is all good. Oh gosh, are you an elderly? You are an elderly. Are you able to get babies? Let's have a look. Species data. 15 to... 20 years estimated. Well, hopefully, I'm not sure. The lions are so beautiful. I really like it. Oh gosh, I just can't help it that I'm super hyped about the fact that they were using the scratching pole. And it looks so good. It, it looked good, right? Let me know in the chat if you love the animations of that. And this is not even every animation so far. They have just done their first live stream on the planet zoo youtube channel and they confirmed again that not all the animations are in the game just yet so there is a lot more for us to discover and there are a lot of more secret things for us to discover so yeah i'm just super excited 
to explore the game more and to find all these new things out. So I really hope you guys are excited as I am for this game. And I just really hope to hear from you guys what you think of this episode. Let me know in the comment section. Leave a like at the video if you enjoyed. And don't forget to subscribe, of course. Thank you guys so much for watching. And I really hope to see you all in the next one. Bye, guys.